Okay, so let's uh, let's figure out what we're gonna do with Sean Hampton. Yeah. Who? The this, the guy, oh, the guy who got turned into a scout. I know Sean. Hampton oh, the, the oh, do you mean the saint of the patron of the what something? The, the sad saint. The sewer shark. So. Yes, the, he's he's the sad saint, and he's a skull. So, because our choice happens in a conversation, I want to maybe do we want to stop and have a conversation about what the choice we're about to make is coming up, and how it's stupid and bad, and how we're all going to fight about it. I think you should talk about uh, that while Josh sure. plunges headlong into it. How uh, do you, I leave? You, you have to go up, go up, <laughs> up to the second floor. Up? They locked the way behind oh. you because they didn't want the uh, the vampires to follow the big colossus guy in. So they lock that way, but you have to go right. out a different way. I'm sure an iron gate will really stop. So was it just on the opposite side of the room we entered? Is that how yeah. we go? Yep. Yep. Just well, why didn't you way. tell me not to leave this way? I, I didn't know what you were doing. I was too busy trying to figure out how to bring up the conversation about the choice we're about to make. Because it's dumb, and I oh, hate it, and I want to have a conversation about it. Well, now that we've discussed not the choice, I think we're ready to go. Room. But we haven't discussed... God damn it. <laughs> Oh, is that? All oh, right, is that not we're what gonna we're discussing eat right Sean now? Sean Hampton. Okay, oh, I feel is... like I missed something. Are we okay, are we so... good to jump into this, or do we need some preposition? I think uh, to make the right <laughs> to make the right choice, I think we need to have conversations about what the choices are. So okay, all right. So we have to decide what to do with Sean Hampton, just like we had to decide what to do with Dorothea Crane or Dorothy Crane. Um, and it's once again, they're the pillar of this community and we have to decide one of three options, but it's slightly different options than what we had with Dorothy Crane. Um, one is we could just, just like Dorothy Crane, l let him live, right? Just let him do his, his weird church stuff, uh, as a skull in the middle of this district. Two is that we could kill him, just suck all of his blood out, eat him, get a bunch of experience, and then he's dead. This does the normal thing of killing a um, a pillar of the community and results in um, the district losing Chaos. a bunch of health. Then the third option is to turn him, to actually let him drink of us, give up 500 experience points, and he becomes as a vampire. He becomes an econ, essentially. Interesting. In the theory, that would make him more stable, right? That's the theory. So we have to have now a well, conversation about... Well, but he'd also have to actually drink blood now. Yeah, I mean... Would he still be a pillar of the community, or would he be removed? Yes. He's, he's always a pillar of the community, and if we kill him, he gets removed. So but to recap, not if he's three choices vampire. are... The three choices I... are... Let him just sit around and and chill and do whatever he's doing. Turn him into a vampire proper, or kill him. Yes, but letting him th okay. th there. There's a trick. We'll, we'll keep. Uh -huh. We'll keep going. Oh. We'll keep going. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt the the whole question thing. I just wanted to make sure we were clear on those points. Um, what were you saying, Alex? No, that was it. I was just clarifying the options. Yeah. Ooh. So there's a trick, much like yeah, there was a trick with Dorothy fun. Crane's stuff. Uh -huh. uh, Dorothy Crane's trick was, oh, we thought that... Uh, Sean Hampton's Night Cellar has some oh, skilling fuck. foods in it. Oops. Yeah, that's... Left those up. Well, this is where the Halloween is, yep. store's gone. Is this the trick, Chris, or is this just gross? Uh, you could say that this is part of the trick. Yeah, this it's is this is trying to communicate to you what's going on. When did right. we get the so... treat? I, I, I don't know. That's I don't know if there is one. Table. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's bad. What's even the point? Is, oh, no, he's... Sean Hampton is the treat. He's our blood treat. Our little treat of experience points. So is he killing people, or is he finding dead bodies and then eating them? Well, let's go talk to him and find out about them. Yeah. We gotta investigate, because truth. we're a doctor and we need to act like a police detective at all times. Yeah, exactly. We're a doctor detective, and we're also a vampire, and we're tight now, so he's like, you know what? I'll tell you about 
I had the people I eat. You tell me about the people I eat. Are you eating? Let's take flesh? communion. It is the sacred flesh of the mortal lamb. What? This is cool. <laughs> <laughs> fucking in the background, our fucking trench coat is flipping out. <laughs> Some cool shit. I, you, like the music's pumping, I and I like it. I dig it. So, true to your word. You know, when most people interview cannibals and they ask what, like, what it's like to eat humans, they often say it's like gristle. It's like very fatty. That like very fatty portion of a steak. <laughs> Just so want you to space it out it there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kind of like miles away. This is just chopping away at his person. The fact that he's this is a passive like... aggressive strategy to get you to make your decision. You, the player, right. yeah. to make your decision faster. The, the fact that he is occasionally twitching very slightly due to animation bugs is uh, great. Look at him. I thought the twitch was on purpose. <laughs> Uh, there he goes. No, this definitely not, that does not sound like it seemed like an on purpose twitch. That looks like like a Jacob's Ladder a scenario. A very is going weird. Yeah. Jacob's Ladder kind of just distortion of that. <laughs> just a very minor like version of that. So, how do we want to play this? Uh, until we get the final choice, it's all false choices. So you hide your fine. game well, um, smug, because it's like it makes us sound like we know what's going on. Like we mortals just it and out ago. and then as and then as he gets defensive, yeah. we pull uh, his his game of Clue out from under the the thing and say, "Let's play." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the iceberg. I I do kind of like Alex's suggestion. Well, oh, oh, never mind. Oh, yes. sorry. What was the children, Doctor Reed? One at all. And he's determined to save us. If it's an inconsequential choice, I think we should be as rude as possible. Why not? <laughs> Use the tongue lashing while we can. That's yeah, true. Why would we be nice if it doesn't matter? If we get nothing out of it. The last decade, that's what's been happening. And they found a better life. What's to change? You're forgetting the epidemic. Things can go south very quickly. I've seen it. Oh, these are terrible times. Only those pure. Oh, we have to. Prevail. Oh boy, have I've we? Turned scowl now. Don't you see the danger to anyone giving you their trust? We are all sinners, awaiting salvation. This is a simple truth, ordained by the Lord Almighty. Maybe he's not a skull. Oh, Maybe he's a, a Witcher. His glorious light. He'd avoid hair. Does this place belong to you? Uh, that was actually a thing that was unique so to Geralt. You can keep it open. This but what about the other guy? Dawson family, but has been bequeathed he was really donation. old. Oh, like several hundred years old. Have you met the Dawsons? Yeah, this, this doesn't seem like a very... Okay. The Dawsons? The wealthiest family in London? Have they a clue as to what goes on here? Not at all. Ah! The donation was made before the war. The building was run down. I never met Aloysius Dawson myself. I do like how he keeps resuming that weird, awkward head tilt pose as his idol pose. So you well, it, it kind of does like no make him come across as not 100% as stable. As we, we interest no one. This is a haven, and I pray it remains so for eons to come. I find it odd that, like, all the supernatural characters in this game are expecting the humans to go along with all this. I think that's where, like, I'm at right now, where it's like, they're like, what's the problem? We're just doing it. It's like, like, but, but it's weird. It's weird. And it's, it's not like the, the vampires have been around for a long time. Right? Because it has to do with, like, the bridge. pandemic and stuff. I don't know. It's kind of a good point. Like, a this game has a very weird relationship to the kind of, the like, vampire-human, like, theoretical tension that, like, you get in a lot of vampire works. It's, 
a lot m like Harriet is possessed by her hate. Like a lot of games, like you know, have this presumption of like, oh, you know, the. The, there's like the, the vampires and the humans are like this very like separate world like oh you gotta keep up the masquerade but like in this game it's much muddier i believe i've learned all i need to know i'm certain you've killed no one but what, one what about the fucking skeletons in the logic is a are those no no no, no those don't worry about that yeah, no, I, that was just, I, they were already we dead, I mean, I just, with God's eternal I guess if, you know, the one advantage of being a cannibal zombie during a pandemic is, uh, you know, you don't really need to kill people to get food. You gotta just gotta go outside. Like, hey, look, a bunch of dead vampire hunters. A little, a little dry, so be but as rude as possible. Fine. Hmm. You feed on corpses, yeah, we should confront him, yeah. Yeah. I the we should sound really to offended too, like really scandalized that anyone could feed flesh. on human beings. Give yourself over to God, Doctor. Expel your urges and kneel before oh, the Oh shit. Lord he just took it up a notch. Urges. You know the hunger will never be satisfied. I've come to embrace the everlasting craving. I have sworn to feed only upon the flesh of the dead. It is now my sacrifice. I love this camera work. Yeah. Take. It makes you I wonder mean, why they didn't just do this for everything. This is my body. I mean, if I okay. were, like, this so guy seems to have it pretty alone. together. Okay, so here's where we gotta make a choice. Okay. Okay, so... Don't do anything rashly. Let's have a conversation about what each of these mean. Cool, cool. Do you want me to just say what's going on? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, like, Hang on. Wait, actually, do we want An to talk about how we feel about it and then Chris can talk about it? Okay. Uh, well, I have something to say here. Go ahead, um, you first and then I'll go. If we turn him into an econ... He won't be able to just eat the corpses anymore, which will cause problems with his ability to stick to his uh, so-called sacrament and not eat yeah. living people. That does seem pretty short-sighted, doesn't it? Uh, that's like a perfect if we... paternalistic solution. Like, oh, you've got your like... solution, but mine's better. It's so much neater and more humane. Right, and this a lot of this uh, uh, this chapter has been like like anti bougie. Like Reed has been kind of the outsider here, and we had that thing with the uh, the trade unionist who hated us just for being like rich and and you know like I I feel like turning him into a vampire would probably be the worst possible. I mean, well, okay, the worst option is kill him, right? Because, like, killing the pillar of a community, like, that's just going to cause negative consequences. Like, here's my read on this from a story perspective. It would be the height of presumptuous hypocrisy to say, oh, you know, I don't trust this guy not to give in to his dark urges because he eats dead bodies. Sooner or later, yeah. he's going to want to eat a live person. So I will make him, like me, the people who drains the life essence of living people. Like, that seems like a preposterous lack of faith in someone else and amount of faith in your own darkness, considering the first thing you ever did upon becoming a vampire was, like, murder your sister by accident. Yeah, eat your sister to death. <laughs> It seems like this guy's got his shit together way more than we do, to be completely honest. Yeah. Like, you know, like, our kind are, like, draining people at hospitals. We're going around, like, giving people medicine to make sure that they're, like, sustainable food sources for us in the future. Like, this guy's even Killing corpses. hundreds of random vampire hunters on like the streets. Like, it's gross, but there's plenty of corpses. And if they run out, like, again, like... It's not that he's not a graveyard. danger to the public, but he's less of a danger to the public than we are by many arguments. Yeah. But here's my game thought. If something costs XP, it's probably the better choice. See, I'm, I disagree. I think that's a trap. Because the 500 XP oh. is nothing. 
I mean, it would be fun if it was a trap, but like game people rarely. I would have respect that much this game more players. if it were a trap. Yeah, me too. Me too. And I'm curious now if it is a trap. Has Camster been hiding that from us this whole time? <laughs> okay, well, before Chris talks, let's talk about what we would choose. I'm leaning. I think we're all leaning towards spare. Is that right? Probably. Yeah, I don't think like we've already avoided killing uh, people from the community, so I don't see why we would start now, right? Like we haven't killed anybody. Right. Yeah, exactly. And and knocking out a pillar of a community is bad. Like the big trap with the last one is the one that looks like you're not gonna kill, like you're not gonna wipe out the pillar of the community. Actually, makes it even worse, right? Boy, I sure do enjoy staring at this wall. Don't you enjoy it? <laughs> <laughs> Shut so up, relaxed. Thinking. This wall is my sacrament as well. It's like edging over to the to the director. Like, is he gonna yell cut? What what am I doing here? Anyway, uh, Chris, why don't you enlighten us a little bit? All right, I'm just going to read the descriptions from this walkthrough, just because I think that's oh, easier okay. than me babbling on. Okay, so if you choose to, to, to embrace him and, and kill him, you'll kill Sean on the spot. You drink his blood, which will result in his death. The next night, the health of the district will fall drastically. It's exactly what you think. Okay. Say, so here's spare him, save the man. I envy the peace you found. You decide to leave Sean Hampton alive, although the man will live with his hunger. This is a bad choice because he will soon be transformed into a murderous skull that will kill peaceful skulls oh. in the sewer and murder residents near his shelter. You will have oh. to fight Sean. This is a difficult fight because he will come back as a strong mini boss. Oh my god. But <laughs> do we get more XP him. later? I don't know. Like for defeating him. <laughs> yeah, let's, 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 let's power game this. Um, or you can turn him. To use this option, you must have completed hints about hi him before talking with the clergyman. You can sacrifice 500 XP to heal Sean with bloodlust. He will still be a skull, but he will be able to master his murderous instincts. Morally, this is the best solution. It says that in the walkthrough. <laughs> oh, the next... hold on a sec. <laughs> <laughs> Don't nod, night... says fuck faith. Video game guide writers, stay away from this. Don't Man, start getting into read. your moral our, blah blah blah. Our, our fucking read of the situation was way cooler than what they ended up <laughs> going for with this. Fuck that. Let's Game kill him. Game Facts Guide to Ethics. Here's how you speed run <laughs> morals. 100% completion. Can you imagine? This is an ethics run. I will tell you ethically what is the best choice. <laughs> Which of the little sisters lecture. deserve to be harvested and which ones In don't? In this vampire <laughs> game, the vampire ethics. It's um, determined so justified in actually progressing through the game. I, I will leave it to y'all to figure out what we want to do. I'm just saying the other two I mean... options result in this district going to hell. And well, the other option results in, in less bad But things. there's a right choice, isn't there? Like you say that, but there's a correct choice here. Given yeah. those answers. See, this is why, like, when I, we made fucking unrest. Like, I talked about this earlier. Everybody gave us shit for not, like, having an ending assigned to all of the big moral choices in that game. But, like, think about how much more interesting this would choice would be if they didn't just sort of arbitrarily decide, uh, this is the right one, and he dies, this is the wrong one, and he lives. Or vice versa. I will point out there is one thing in our determination that I guess turns out not to be true, which is the thought that if we turn him, he turns into an econ. But it sounds like he turns yeah. into a skull, but like better. I I don't skull know how plus. much. I don't know how um, much of that is true because this is a this is a walk so, through the, a random walk. Right, like if that was detailed somewhere, I don't remember seeing it, but. It's possible is on something we missed reading. Although, why would the option be here if we hadn't achieved, you know, gotten all the stuff for the hints to use it? All right, let's do the vampire thing. Yeah, I, I mean, it's stupid, but hey, I guess this game wants to be bougie. Uh, it's what you guessed, right? It was like the one with the XP yeah. is the one that's the best. It's yeah. like the it would be cool thing. if that yeah. was a trick, though. Like that would be. 
a fun bait. I mean, the last one was a trick. So, like, the game is, is you know, it's not completely against the idea of doing that. The last blue option was a, was a trick. We didn't actually have the hints for it, but... Of course, that one you didn't have to sacrifice XP for, but uh, it's hey, just I too guess bad we'll... that that one didn't make any fucking sense either. Really. Yeah, like one that one was note in the game, dumb. which says, "Oh, that could happen," I guess, but like you know, I don't know. You know, for me, honestly, it the best way of doing this kind of stuff is if you. If, as soon as you, I should rephrase. As soon as you start getting into the gamification, like the optimization of these like dialogue choices, is like when you failed, because right, it yeah. shouldn't be about yeah. what is the best choice for me in its like statistical sense or whatever. Like it should just be about like you engaging with the story and rewarding you for paying attention and engaging with the characters and the narrative and like throwing in maybe your own spin and interpretation on what you think Reed would do morally. And but like, the, I don't like having to worry. I don't want to have to worry about if it's a trick or if it's like a bait and switch or if it's like a thing like, like to me, that's like not, where I want my player to be at mentally when they're engaging with the story. Yeah. And it's a weird choice That's for what annoys Don't Nod me. to do that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Because so much of it is was inconsequential to like progression. So we're uh, we're agreed we're going to turn him into a, a, a cooler skull. Yes. He's he's going to be a <laughs> skull Better. saint with a st- Skateboard we now. have the technology. We just, like, we just slip up behind him, just go, shh, shh, shh. and then we just like bite his neck, and with our other hand, we just like slide some sunglasses over him. What old Bridget says is true. <laughs> and then he's like, "What?" We just like dr like drop on coat over his shoulders. I'd rather not. It would be extremely awkward. You have no choice, Sean. It's the only way to protect your chapel. Oh, yeah. awkward boohoo. Yeah. You have skeletons in your basement. No. <laughs> See, this is the right choice. You have no choice. Uh, I'm just going to like turn you against your will. This is this is the ethical thing to do. We know what's best. <laughs> the guide said so. The Lord works in It's the ethical ways. choice. I can't imagine. <laughs> yeah, the guide said that this <laughs> Sorry, Sean. Have a little faith <laughs> in the game facts writer. <laughs> Drink friend oh well, my god Mark how did that how is, how is that how that stupid fucking drink. plot point came back yeah up? that is dumb okay, well, we didn't I'm... just like bite him so i guess oh yeah this is great that's exactly like the fact that he was violated is exactly what you want to reference before you make him drink our bodily fluids under threat of coercion <sighs> That's fucking great. Yeah. Smart choice, developers. Uh, Remember, it is the morally appropriate choice. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> fucking Christ. Uh, that, that guidebook said... I, I went forward in that guide, by the way, and, like, the next choice it lists, it lists one of the options as morally dubious. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <laughs> so are we going to see the result, or is he just going to be like, uh... I'm, I need a He's going to be like that till the next day, I believe. So we got to we we leave. Stuff? We should if we can. <laughs> hey, thanks. Thanks for doing that. I'm going to take all your <laughs> stuff now. Bye. <laughs>